2003 Jaguar XJR on a 53 plate. It's the later model, uh, obviously the supercharged version being the R. Start with the bodywork. If we start on this front driver's corner, for a black car that's 18 years old, absolutely nothing to complain about really bodywork wise. Really nice and clean, good shine to it. It's obviously been polished. That front driver's wheel's good, there's no curbing on it. Got the larger brakes with it being the R as well as the R badges all around it. Driver's door again, nice. It wants a good, good Sunday afternoon's valet. But other than that, rear driver's door again. The only thing really to note is there's a couple of little marks on the door, obviously, where it's been opened in a shopping car park or something like that. But arch-wise, they're nice and solid. There's no rust there at all. And the wheel. No curb marks or anything like that. Four good tyres on it. That rear driver's quarter. Same scenario, no marks. Very slight, very slight scratch on there, which I wouldn't be surprised if that doesn't just polish out. Boot lid, again, nice and clean. Really bright sunshine, so we see there's a couple of lines on the camera there, but that is just sunlight. That's not, not scratches or anything. More R badges in case anybody forgets what it is. Rear parking sensors. We've got a little scuff there, which actually that's dirt, that'll come off. Um, and there's a tiny scuff there, but a bit smaller than a thumb. It's rear quarter again, nice and clean. Passenger side, rear passenger wheels nice, no curbing on it. Slight scuff on this point of the door here. And a tiny scratch on the passenger front door. Again, a good polish should probably pick a lot of this out. And there is a chip there as well. We are being picky. It's a black car, but for, for what it is, it looks fantastic. All right, we'll go on to the interior. Onto the interior, starting with the driver's side. Electric memory seats, of course. Big supercharged Jag, it's gonna have good spec. Nice black leather interior, the driver's seat's good. There is a little bit of patina and wear just from climbing in and out, but overall there's no rips or tears, no funny smells in here. Steering wheel, the wood steering wheel is nice. There is a little bit of wear where people's thumbs have sat, um, but again, because it's black, you actually don't notice it at all. Showing 117,000 miles, there's no warning lights or anything like that on it. I've just driven it down the road, drives really well. It does have the Alpine, stereo upgrade so that's the extra speakers and the six stack which is nice rear again is is, is nice and clean it's, you know there's no nicks on there it's not been shot on anything or anything like that it's obviously had a, a couple of marks here and there but it's overall pretty good Ooh. Rear audio controls and telephone in there. It's pretty snazzy. Something for the kids to play with, I guess. And some cup holders. It's not the backs of the seats haven't been kicked apart or anything like that. That they're not covered in marks. Both seats are nice. Have a look at the passenger side. Got an electric seat in the front. All nice and clean. Wood's nice, there's no fading on that. The top of the dash is good, it's not cracked or anything like that. It is a sunroof model car, electric tilt and slide with a with a blind. One thing that's worth noting, the rear of the headlining in true Jag fashion is starting to sag a little bit. Um, any good trimmer should be able to put a new one in. They charge about £200 nowadays, so it's, it's not an expensive job anymore, but it'll sort it right out. Have a look at the boot. Nice big boot. It's a hard cover load liner in there. Pull that up. That's obviously been down for a fair while because that's not filthy. Underneath, you've got a full-size spare wheel, tool kit, nice big battery. 
And then in here you've got your 6 CD. I'm guessing that will be for nav if it has nav. Soft closed boot as well. Have a look under the bonnet. Not a lot to see on the modern Jags to be fair, they're kind of all enclosed. Can't really see any of the metalwork or anything, but there's no smells of oil. There doesn't seem to be anything dripping down it or anything like that. We'll start it up, makes a cracking noise. Start on the button, nice and smooth. Nice and quiet on tick over. Obviously a good noise when you boot it. So yeah, there you have it. There's no smoke coming out the back there. Like I say, it does drive well. Um, but if you've got any more questions or you want to come and see it or you want a video call or more photos or anything like that, just give us a shout. 2003 XGR. Yeah.